Hello, welcome to my latest vid. It's a bit noisy here. I don't know if you can hear that. There's builders working over the room and it's a racket. Um, I got COVID, but I'm still gonna work on my bike. So today, the idea is to replace these indicators with some LED ones that I got. So they should just sit on there. Uh, they're sequential, so it should flash outwards. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to wire everything up, I'm just going to whip the ones off and put on the new ones, um, just to see if I actually like it, because obviously if I don't like it once I put them on, there's no point carrying on. So I'm going to take these off and put on the new ones, and then I'm going to go from there. So one of the problems I got, as you can see, is these are mounted with a screw. These are mounted with a screw through here, so that they are vertical. And the bracket is vertical. So if I just mount these in the hole, <laughs> I mean, it's not gonna look right at all. So, I got my friend at Custom Zoomer. He does a, a tail tidy and it comes with two brackets for the indicators at the back and I got him very kindly to make me up some brackets. I could have probably just bought L-shaped brackets like in a DIY shop or something but he, he very kindly made me some brackets uh, and then I sprayed them black. So the idea is to bolt that on there and then bolt the light on there. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I decided I'm gonna have to take them off as a trial because the wire literally goes through the bracket and I can't put the new ones on with the wire in the way. So I have to take the battery box cover off and all the connections are just in here, simple. And this one's obviously longer because it reaches the other side and the wires on these are actually quite short. So I'm gonna have to jewelry rig it a little bit. But yeah, so now that's what I'm gonna do. So they're all in place, all four, looking good. Uh, yep, so I like that, I'm gonna stick with it. So now I just gotta wire them up. Um, most of the leads have reached, uh, just these two from this side. Are too short, so I've got to adjust them. But other than that, they do stick out quite a bit, but then they've got to be legal, so they're gonna get whacked. <laughs> they're gonna get whacked and they're gonna get come off, but hey, I'm gonna stick with them for now. So when I've got them going, um, because they're LEDs, the flash relay, which is this, I need to change that for one that works with LEDs. So this is a new flasher relay. It's gonna replace that one there. Uh, this one's got two wires. This has got three wires. Um, the plug's gonna have to come off because that won't plug into anything. Um, so the reason you got an extra one is because you gotta earth it to the battery terminal. Uh, that's temporary wired in. So one to the battery, one's a positive, and one's a feed. And we'll give it a quick test. Mm, it's already on. Uh, so we'll go that way. That's working. And we'll go the other way. And that's working. And that's it. All done. What I've got to do now is tidy it up. Put the case back on, battery box case. Uh, this had a self adhesive back in, so I just cleaned up between there and stuck it where the old relay was. Um, I put a little bit of tape around the wires just in case. It's not actually touching anything, but you never know. Uh, I am not very good at electrics, never have been. Uh, but that works. Now I've just got to tighten up all the bolts, put the box back on, and done. It's all back together.
get it again. Oh, there you go. That one's too bad. A little bit fraught with my electricals like I always am, but I'm really pleased with that. They do stick out a bit, but they look like big ears, don't they? But yeah, cool. So, next day, I've decided I'm going to try to move the indicators on the front in a little bit. So, I'm making up a bracket using a bit of old drawer runner. Which I'm going to bolt across here. And then I'm going to drill so it accepts the lights so that they can be in a little bit further. I think they can be in as far as 120 millimeters in the UK, legally, which is really close together actually. I don't want them that close, but I definitely want them so they're not quite sticking out so much. Uh, this might work, it might not. Let's find out. So, size wise, the brackets fit. Uh, I've had to adapt it slightly. They'll fit in there flat. So now I've got to paint it. Um, I'm going to have to extend the wiring on this side because it won't quite reach. So I've just got to stretch that a little bit and paint that black. So that's it. That's the finished, finished thing. Uh, moved much further in. Looks much, much nicer, I think. A uh, bit of IKEA shelf bracket, heavy duty, <laughs> heavy duty machinery, but that, that matches the rest of the look of the bike anyway. So yeah, I'm very pleased with that. Uh, they look like much less likely to get hit. So thanks for watching this vid. Don't forget to hit like or subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully, when I have less bug in my nose. Alright, thanks very much. Bye.